I look, Gary? Um, Beautiful, <laughs> as always. Did you say weak? <laughs> weak. That's such a good I'm a fucking pillar of strength. <laughs> you look weak. <laughs> <laughs> How do you look weak? Whatever, dude. This girl... <laughs> This girl's always roasting me. Anyways, or, so we're rolling. Uh, l- welcome to the Ryan Joseph podcast. No, wait, what is it? The Ryan Joseph show. I haven't, I haven't eaten carbs all day. I'm trying not to eat carbs. And um, so I, uh, I don't feel well. Like, I feel like my brain is falling to mush. And um, I just did a set, though. It was pretty good because people like to laugh at that. But um, I'm here with uh, Holly Johnson. Sounds like a black girl's name, right? <laughs> <laughs> Polar opposite. Yeah, but it's a little blonde hair, blue eyed girl uh, in the, pr- what is it? Girl in the prairie, a little house in the prairie. Yeah. Yeah. You look like the girl that was like running in the prairie. It's just and falls down with her little dress. Holly, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> how are you tonight? Ahead. Sorry it's so late. Yeah, it's like fucking 11 p.m. So Just what? You're a comic, pizza. dude. It's all about staying up late. I know. I stay up. How late do you stay up? Usually, I usually go to bed at like one or two. Really, I go sometimes I go to like bed like at like four. I'm surprised you sleep at all, truthfully. I, I feel like you just like stand up and stare at a wall. Pretty much, like I I don't like sleeping because I feel like I I need to I need to catch up for all the lost time in my twenties. In my twenties, I just did drugs, and I didn't like get anything. I mean, I got like a college degree only because they were paying me to do it. It turns out they actually do want that money back. What are they, wait, they paid you? What do you mean they paid you? Like loans and grants and stuff. Oh. Yeah. That's how I would like pay my way. Are you still paying off? Do you still have student loan debt? Yeah, I'm pretty much a slave. I I know what it's like to be a oh slave, <laughs> you know, like I know how what those people went through now. I don't. Having to make. I don't s- think that. I don't think your, the same your thing. English degree. It's the same thing. <laughs> That's one of the degrees. What uh, else? What other degrees do you have? I, I don't like to talk about how well educated I am because it takes away the allure. But I have a master's in education and a certified instructional designer. I got fired c- <laughs> at U- <laughs> University of Southern California because they saw my jokes online, the women there. One woman, you know how women are. Uh, we were fighting like on a project like we were arguing she didn't like that I was like she was like an alpha type you know type a personality and she wanted to run the whole show and I wasn't listening to her and she got mad and she um uh decided to get me fired by anonymously reporting my comedy to the office of diversity and equity which are all headed by like women that look like you they're all blonde hair and blue eyed like we're here to protect the coloreds so you got fired <laughs> not right away they gave me like pay, eight, seven months paid leave so like that's when i moved to austin because i wasn't doing anything you know like i was getting my salary and just doing comedy i would go to mike's at first in la um because that's all there was and i'd be like guys i am a paid comic <laughs> and um so you started comedy when you got fired from the job no, 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 no. I was already doing comedy. Oh, wait, no, because the They just saw ruined, stuff I had yeah. online. Oh, okay. And they, like, printed out trans- transcripts from Kill Tony. Oh. Pr- and presented it. I said one thing. I was like, yeah, I go to this liberal university. I don't believe in any of that shit. <laughs> but I didn't say their name. I How many s- jobs have you gotten fired from at this point? That was the only one I ever did. And, um, I, uh, but I didn't really get fired. I was canceled, you know, I was canceled and I was, I was oppressed and I was marginalized. Oh God. To the <laughs> Am I going to get canceled? <laughs> you probably will. Everybody that comes on this podcast gets canceled afterwards. Nice. Yeah. I can finally start drawing again. Yeah. Drawing used to be a drawer. Yeah. I used to draw a lot. What'd you draw? Um, I used to be pretty good at like, uh, drawing like faces and then I would draw like, big into drawing like weird sea creatures i guess they're not like weird just like regular sea creatures yeah and what'd you do with those faces <laughs> what <laughs> why do you have to make everything so creepy because <laughs> that's part of the uh, well did you sell them 
Did you like paint and like sell them or you just drew it in your room like a creep yourself? <laughs> no, I didn't sell them. I'm um, making paint. I'm making paintings of faces, mom. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> making paintings of my real mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm making paintings of sea creatures. Get out, mom. <laughs> no, I used to. Listening to, to Britney Spears. Or I no. used to do, um, like I started doing digital art during the pandemic. So learning like Illustrator and then I would, uh, I would make like graphics and like cards and stuff for people. Oh, so you weren't drawing, like, hand drawing, you were doing it on, like, digitally? No, I would hand draw, too, and then I learned how to uh, oh. do digital art during the pandemic. Why'd you let that go? When did you start comedy? I started comedy in 2019, right after I graduated from college. That's about the time where I really, like, I also got, like, really into it, but that was in Maine? In Rhode Maine? Island. Oh, no, I started in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. But, near, that's right. Was it near Boston? Yeah, I started in Boston. My first open <clears throat> mic ever was in Boston. What was that? What is the open mics in Boston like? Um, I mean, I haven't done an open mic in Boston in like two years because they were so they were still shut down before I even left to wow. move here, or they were like just starting to come back. But there were places that were closer to me. I don't know. I guess like the same as here, like bar shows and like. But are like people like really like abrasive. You're like, fuck, make me laugh. Fuck no, me. no, it's not like, it's not like what you think of. It's not like, yeah, what's it like? Goodwill hunting, Boston, yeah, yeah. no. Look at them apples. There's a lot of like really good comics in Boston and you I would bet. just like I watch bet. them and be like, or even just like the whole New England scene, like Boston, Rhode Island, Worcester. You just watch people and be like, oh, that guy. Like East Coast people are the best, really. Like we're smartest people. We are. There's something about like being on the East Coast that makes you smart i miss the east coast i I don't miss i don't miss it i just i don't know when i went to new york it was cool i just don't know if i can like live like around like just so many fucking people so many buildings and shit and it's just like i i want to be like i want to have space you know that's why i liked about la yeah, I do like how, like, this city is a lot more spread out than New York is, and you can actually, like, drive a car down a street and find parking without it being, like, a whole, like, two-hour thing. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I like this city a lot, I mean, but I also, like, love the East Coast. That's just, like, where I'm from. I'm trying to leave. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I told you that. I was talking about that. Just, like, like right now? <laughs> no, I thought about that. It's just I um, don't have enough money just yet. But, like, I want to go to, like, Phoenix or Las Vegas or, I don't know. Th- then there's part of me that wants to stay because, like, I don't want to, like, retreat. But it's, like, when you're, like, banned from when you two places, you can't get much stage time. And um, and you've already hit the glass ceiling, you know. I hit the top already really hit the, quick. Hit the glass ceiling. <laughs> Dude, I did. When I first came here, like, I didn't know. Like, I became friends with a, a woman and I had no idea that it would turn out that her husband would, like, own the creek. You know, be one of the owners of the creek. So, like, I had no friends, you know, and she and I were really close. And she, like, embraced me. She's like, you know, you are, like, my brother now, you know. <laughs> and we were really close. And then before I know it, I'm, like, in with the creek in the cave, you know. And I'm with the manager and with the manager talking and personal talks and stuff. And then I have, like, my own show there. And then doing it every Tuesday night and then hanging out with Joe Rogan every Tuesday, you know, opening for him. Like I hit where you want to hit, mm-hmm. I think. And then it all fell apart because I dated the wrong person. Well, I feel like, yeah, like there was definitely like even when I moved here, like there was that sense of like everything happening so fast because like things were dying out so much. And like like post or like it was like s- just starting to come back post pandemic but it was coming back so slowly like a lot of shows were still like virtual and like yeah you know like it was just wasn't nothing felt the same and then you came here and it was just like special big crowds it's and like just life. adrenaline and yeah huge like i got on kill tony two weeks in to here and then i was booked on secret show the next week and yeah. i was just like whoa like i just moved here. like it would all happen i know it was yeah but it peaks really fast and then it kind of like levels out. Yeah, of course, because it's so small. And like, even if you're like, say you're one of the people that are a regular at Kill Tony or something, or, or you're doing a uh, your regular at the secret show, or it's still nothing. 
I don't even know like what's the point like what you where you want to really go I think like traveling and doing comedy is like the biggest place you want to do if you're selling out shows all over the country that's that's the high because you're making money but you like I I just want to like um you know live off my my ability to do what I can do it's like I feel like I can't do a lot of things but like comedy was one thing I could really do really well and after like my sister passed away that was the one thing that gave me like meaning I was like oh I'm really good at this and um and so when there's people out there that'll take it away as punishment you know I I felt really like but um I'm really hungry where'd where'd Gary go yeah I don't know where Gary went that pizza (laughs) yeah but uh Gary where's the pizza He's taking a shit and then he's going to bring open? then he's going like he to He's open. taking his shit and then he's going to bring our pizza back up. Yeah, so I don't know like cuz I was walking on 6th Street today or tonight back from poor choices <laughs> which it, it's kind of like fitting cuz like you know the name of the only place I can perform one of the names <laughs> is called Poor Choices. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> and I'm walking back and I remember and I'm looking at the homeless people, all the drunk bitches, you know, the life and I used to be so like I would take pictures of it and videos yep. and send to my yep. friends and now the it's dirty just six, yeah. Yeah, now I'm just like whatever. Mhm. Yeah, I used to do the same thing. I used to do like those like those pan those like pan view videos where you like scan the hole and i'm like whoa this is where i live now this is crazy and now it's just like it's just like because you know that it's going on everywhere else but i'm afraid though like if i went to la they would shut down again or new york because they they love you know not new york not as much as la but like i'm i like being around like the rough riders you know what i mean we're like these cowboys but hell no we ain't shutting down this yeah no that's definitely i like are you conservative or a liberal? I'm in the middle. That means conservative. People say that when they're afraid <laughs> to say liberal. Yeah. So I like to be around people that are like not going to fucking buckle to the bullshit right away. And um, and Texas is good because like you're in the center. So you, if you if you do want to um travel and stuff, but it's just like it feels like I'm just bored now. And like when uh. Yeah, after you like, you know, you you get you feel, and then like if you like date someone here that you really liked or whatever, and then you drive around, you see like all the places that remind you of them. Yeah, it's fucking torture. <laughs> That's dude. definitely like a, a motivation for like, well, like this is so random, but I was thinking about this today. Like, um, there's always like the three B's when I'm like leaving a place. There's like breakup and then bugs. <laughs> like there's like yeah, and dude, then, and the fucking like, cockroaches here, dude. It's fucking out of control. I've had these weird little like they're like they're not centipedes, but they're like these weird little bugs, and they like keep finding they're like keep finding their way like through my wall. They're really like I think that's um crabs. I don't know what they are. I think you got crabs. All right, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I've never seen a girl with crabs before. Neither have I. I, I. I heard a story um of a. Uh, now that Gary's here, it's gonna get me going. Did you order a personal pizza? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then offer it to other people. Now that. G- oh, that looks so good, actually. All right, All right I'm slice. done talking shit. Yeah, now that Gary's here, it's gonna get me going. There was a a guy once that um, he had a story. I was like a roommate, like old roommate, in a fuck where was it seattle and he was like yeah i remember when i found out my wife was cheating it was like yeah i'm trying to have sex with her this guy was 95 years old right and he's telling me about all the, the women he's, he's like yeah i was having sex and i just see all these crabs all over my stomach i'm like, I'm like god damn it bitch what have you been doing <laughs> and now we're gonna what? eat pizza yeah what did i just walk into yeah and um, we're having a normal really conversation good. before this. <laughs> I know, but like something about my energy just yeah throws people <laughs> off, throws them into this circus mindset. Well, she needs a slice. I got two plates. Yeah, g- are you gonna use both of those plates? <laughs> What's happening right now? No, I'll eat after. I'm not gonna eat like while I'm doing. I don't want to be chewing into the microphone. Well, I can. That's disgusting. Because I need to have like a bite or something. Talk to me. Tell me how's life. Uh life. <laughs> How is life? Um, well, like, well, I was saying, like, my, like, whenever I'm, like, about to, like, leave, or, like, whenever it's, like, 
it's time to go somewhere. There's like some random weird Love's bug breakup. situation. There's a breakup and then my job gets boring. Like those are the three things. Yeah. I just came up with that. Cause like when I was moving here, I had just gotten broken up with. Um, Why do you break up with you? Uh, it was like, it was pretty mutual, but, um, I think we were both just like, he just kind of knew that I wanted to go off and do things on my own and kind of like figured out that I See, wasn't. That's the problem is that women are just so like independent nowadays. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Big, that's a huge problem. You guys. Yeah. Like that's what I, I get. We have to be cause <laughs> women what? are so unreliable. What are you talking about? That's <laughs> bullshit. Cause like. <laughs> It's the reason why we are unreliable is because we're broken down because we don't have like that little meek woman to take care of anymore. It's your fault, right? Yeah, it's you your can fault. probably find a meek woman. I want like a little, little meek, you know, Venezuelan woman or a uh, Canadian woman who can't like speak English and just sits there and doesn't. Canadian sp- woman that can't speak English? Um, yeah. Oh, I guess you could be a French. French Canadian. All right. You got to be more specific. Yeah. Like a Chinook. <laughs> Like a Chinook, and that like, you know, she can't speak English, and she just only, and if she learns, only speaks when I say she can. But it's but it's like loving, you know, it's no, loving. That's that's. But like women nowadays, it's like they um they want to be men. We're getting too smart and powerful. Women want to be men. I don't want to be a man. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to have a dick? I mean, probably at some point. See, I mean, who that's hasn't? What I'm <laughs> I've never thought about that. <laughs> that. I mean, the inverse of that. You never thought about having a vagina? Uh, that would be really weird. Uh, this, is, this is the first time I've ever th- contemplated that. Imagine having a pussy. Dude. It'd be pretty gay. It's so crazy because it's like someone's putting something inside of you. you well, that's why in, in inherently it's, it's worse for women to sleep around than men. Yeah, because you guys can like... You're putting stuff in your body. You're taking something in as opposed to just like you can. I can just like wash my dick. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Are you glad you came on the podcast so far? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, so you're a single woman, right? Yeah. What is that like in this day and age? Being a single woman. Um, what do you What do you think of the guys nowadays? You get a lot of free stuff. Uh, I don't know. I've been. I've only been single for like a few months. Are you so gonna make her hold that pizza the entire time? <laughs> I don't know what to do with the oh, pizza. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna put it over here. Here, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay, yeah. All right. I am gonna have some later. I just want to eat into the microphone. It's really good. It's so fucking good. Was that mod pizza it's in like Austin? Chewing ASMR. Yeah. Um. Thank you, my friend. But, um, yeah, being a single guy, it's like just being single, it's just so like weird because it's like you always think you're never going to find anyone again, you know, and then you do and then you're like, fuck, I hate her. You said what? How long have you been single for now, Ryan? And then you're like, fuck, I hate her. <laughs> um, <laughs> how long have I been single? <laughs> Misogynist ASMR. Fuck um, <laughs> Piece fuck. of shit. I don't even know. So or <laughs> actually, I have the perfect. How long? You, how dumb long whore. You uh, a couple months. A couple months. Yeah. Are you over over him? Yeah. You probably see women get over in a second. They're just like they're like monkeys. Yeah, they monkey branch. They have their their hands. Yeah. Well, that's what you kind of were talking about with uh, women. Women like bounce around, move on, bang a bunch of dudes, and then by the time they're like thirty years old, they've fucked like eighty guys, and then nobody wants to marry them. <laughs> It's pretty sick. <laughs> so you're 25, right? Yeah, I just turned 25. It's a perfect age. You need to find a guy to marry yeah. you, like a rich guy to marry you, yep. while you still have your value. No, she needs to find a rich guy to marry her. We actually, yeah, you pretty you some there's there's I feel like there's something missing from that though that has to do with uh, no you hit your you're at your peak right now. Yeah, you it's don't want to get any better right now, as far as your sexual market value. Well, and, and just general vet, like if you're women peak, I mean, you and I disagree on this, but like, it's probably like between 27 and 30 years old is when women peak men peak at like 45 and the problem, what do you mean men peak at 45. That's when we look the best and make the most money at 45, 50. 
You know what they say that the reason why is because unless you don't take care of yourself. I've but never like. Been I've, like, I've just, oh, I just, I just keep really wish I was with a forty-five-year-old. Well, because you're younger, but like once you get older, no, you're right. What's the oldest guy you've been with? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. That's yeah. that's kind ten, of that's uncommon. Ten, that's ten years older I know. than you. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> yeah. So like, I mean, and you're like what, jerking off like some dude that you work with, right? Like the <laughs> the guy in the the wheelchair. What? <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. He's old. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But like, I think uh, <laughs> it's it's gotta be hard for women. But like, God, that's why I know there is a God because God's like, like one time I went over to this girl's house, a friend of mine. We we're having a, we used to smoke cigarettes, and there was a dude upstairs, really ridiculously good looking dude, right? He was like a GQ model. I hated him. A DQ a model? A GQ model. <laughs> Dairy Queen model. <laughs> like, he modeled blizzards. He, he just like has, like he's just covered in ice cream, just like <laughs> dripping down his abs. And my like friend. the spoon. <laughs> my friend wanted to fuck him, right? Yeah. And um, oh, and she's like, hey, you can go watch a movie. I'm going to go upstairs and fuck him or something. Like, because he came down and I was supposed to see her. So then I, I'm watching a movie and she comes downstairs and she's like, Ryan. Oh my God. It was so small. It was like a nub. And I was like, that's God. More proof that God, like you have a, like you can be like, hey God, I want to come to Earth as a GQ model, but I'm, I'm gonna have a nub, you know, or hey, I want to be a woman. That means you can have everything you want, everything given to you. That's not whatever. true. And then, but you start rotting away, like at 27. I drive a Scion covered in duct tape. I don't think I have everything I want. You're not playing it right. I guess not. You should go to places where rich guys are out. Where are rich guys? Dallas. I'm going to Dallas this weekend. There you go. <laughs> Someone like, hey, little lady. Now you're on the right path. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Some guy with a big, big ranch, big oil field that he owns. He drives a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Some guy that just like. He, he herds cattle with his helicopter. In the bedroom, taking his belt off is like a big thing. You know, he's like. He's like <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> You're disgusting. Ready? Oh yeah. My God. He's got always got hat hair. hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing like a cowboy hat. Always. How old is this guy? Like forty two. He's forty three. Yeah, his dad. So he's not his at the daddy. peak yet. Huh? He's not at the forty. The golden forty five. It depends on the dude. That's right? not a real thing. It, guys, we get better looking as we get older. No, then, like, no I look that's in the not mirror true. Have and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, God, I'm beautiful, more beautiful than ever. I've, no, so I keep getting better looking. Yeah, I do too. But I take care of myself. And Gary does too. I look at him all the time. I'm like, he's getting better. You should have seen me three weeks ago. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> he looked like, I don't know. I, I just, I mean, I didn't. I look good, but I just look even better now. But, but not like now. I just keep getting better looking every day. <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> uh, the, the I, I want to write off women. I I, I kind of want to like. Have you tried sucking dick? No. I, that'd be really weird. Is that hard to? Do? <laughs> Sorry if that's too much to ask. Dulce would be like, I don't know. Kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that hard to do? Is it hard? No. It seems like it'd be really painful to do that, and then like why go back would it be painful? I mean, your jaw gets tired. Yeah, I have TMJ, tibiomandular disjointed. Oh, I thought that was gonna be like a douchey joke, like too much jizz or something. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I have a I I my jaw clicks in out of in and out of place. So oh, you'd if be I had, terrible at it. You get yeah. like locked jaw every other. Yeah, day. I like when a girl's TMJ and she gives head because it's like a yeah. Well, I think that would make it really toothy. Oh, it's a clock. Do you do you use a lot of tooth? <laughs> Do I use a lot of tooth? <laughs> no. No. She doesn't. Okay, no. Good. That's number one. Number two, do you always make a guy come? I mean, sometimes That they depends don't. on the guy. <laughs> because no, some guys, as we fault. talked before. Only two women in my life have ever made, three women in my life have made me come from a blowjob. Yeah. That's How many blowjobs have you had? Gary's been like with like five thousand women, dude. Oh. He's like, oh, STDs don't even get him. <laughs> no, I, I, li I actually, I told you this. I don't think I can get STDs. You're like immune to them. There are. I'm not kidding at dude, all. There are people condoms. that are. Immune I'm not to, like There's people girls. that are immune to AIDS. You know that, right? That's yeah. What, that whole. But the only people that can get AIDS are gay people. <laughs> 
That's funny. That is, but like, that's a punch, I guess. But like, no, the the, the medicine that gay people take now, what is it called? Prep. 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 How do you know that? Because I'm gay. No, it's based off. There's a certain like percentage of the population. That's what like the certain percentage of the population in like North Euro- Europe, Northern Europeans, they can't get AIDS because of like this enzyme blocks the entry of like the Scandinavians. Virus. Something like that. I don't know. That ain't us, though. You're not scared of You're a dirty Irish piece of shit. Yeah. Are you full Irish? German. Yeah, I'm German, too. And Italian. Yeah. And also Irish, actually, now that I think about it. But the worst of the worst. That's how they modeled the medicine off of. What's your ethnicity? I am... Scandinavian. Uh, English, right? French, Irish, Italian, and a little bit Scottish. So you're kind of like a mutt. Yeah. Like us. I, I, I kind of am as well. You have like a crazy look in your eye. That's just my face. Yeah. <laughs> I think Holly's nice. She's a look of terror. She's a nice girl, right? <laughs> yeah, I've only met you once or twice, but you're always nice to me. And I don't know. I think we met She's at always some a bitch party me, last dude. year. But some I still like, like her. Some house party, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't doing drugs. I don't do <laughs> drugs. All right. <laughs> no, I just have to reiterate that I have a court case coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just think... uh. I, I want to be done with, like, I need to, like, have you, you ever done semen retention? Yeah, that shit works. That it's shit weird, works. actually. It works. It's basically, like, because that is your life force, right? And there's, like, uh, the Taoists have an equation that you should go by for, if you look it up, I think it's, like, you t- times your age by a certain number, and that's how many days you should wait. I think my, or eight days I can go before I can come, because you put so much of your body's like your body t- puts so much energy into making like one drop of cum. Right. And like girls are vampires. They take that from us. Right. Yeah, yeah. And we shouldn't give women our cum so easily. And deep down, they're literally sucking the life out of, but you. women will respect you more. If you don't come, if you're like, no, well, I'm going to go to make a sandwich. dude. I think you're onto something, but I think it really only applies to masturbation. Personally. No, have you ever had sex with a woman and you're just like, actually, I'm not going to come? All the time. I have a problem coming. I'm a fucking, like, sexual deviant, dude. Right, and then you know... That's why I date strippers. But then you know you can, like, go back to them and bang them whenever you want because you can't come, right? And they think they're not good enough for you, and that's what you want. You ask where you want. Dude, I wonder (laughs) also if maybe it has something to do with the fact that I think I, I I I like to try to have an emotional connection. I do too. Women. I like the girl to love me. It's a newer thing for me. Yeah. No, I always. What about you? What's uh, your? What's your? Uh, what do you look for in a guy? <laughs> I told, uh, what do I look for in a guy? Uh, I mean, there has to be like mutual, like physical and emotional connection. Like, I can't do the thing where I'm like, oh, but he's so nice, and we're gonna fall in love because he's so nice. Like, I have they have to be like physically attracted to that. Like, if I can't like. I can't like my boyfriend walks in the room and I'm like, oh, that's my boyfriend. If I don't have that feeling, I'm like, no, I yeah. don't. I don't want to date somebody. I'm like not fully. Rate Ryan was attracted but to. So, but some women. You don't want me to do that. <laughs> oh, dude, she's always a bitch to me. She'll say, she'll say like two. If you that. spent the last fifteen minutes talking about how I'm depreciating in value. <laughs> but like, some women seem to be with some <laughs> be zero with some zero self awareness. <laughs> Ryan's like, I'm always the victim. <laughs> Everyone hates I'm, me. I'm not a victim. I'm just kidding. I'm a man. This episode isn't coming out. <laughs> it will come out. For no, sure. they all come out. No, they're all like this. It doesn't matter what happens. They all come they all, out. They don't all come. That's a well, really good way. But to that's what, yeah, it. that's what I'm going to get back to is like you don't come and if you and if you hold out for like I've the longest I've gone is like six weeks now coming and it's like triple orgasm. Really. Yeah, when you come, it's like you come like a woman. You're just like, <laughs> like, like like a woman. Roses so and shit it? are everywhere. Like <laughs> when you're just like coming, and no. then you feel like it building up again. You come again, and she's like a fucking Ghostbuster slime. You know, it's just Jesus. like it's really beautiful. I mean, it's like no, you I, it's you, I, like it's a three, but it's it's so much stress to do that though to do it because I stopped doing it during the pandemic because it was Stop just stop doing what. Like the retention, semen, semen retention, because it was like you're holding in all this energy, right? And I would use it to write my jokes and perform and become what I am. And then, uh, 
clearly the, it's working. But then there's nothing <laughs> to do during the pandemic, like, right? I hate women. <laughs> now there's nothing to I've do. Come in six months. <laughs> no, man. Women love that. Women love like what? <laughs> do you want a, you want a nice guy? What? <laughs> I'm just having fun over here. <laughs> you want a guy that's like, Holly, can I can I carry your bag for you everywhere you go? <laughs> You go to the bathroom. Can I hold your purse? <laughs> no, is that what you not. want? <laughs> or do you want to be like a like a guy that's just like I fucking hate you? No, I don't want to be in an emotionally abusive relationship. But in a nice way. I I think that a lot of women like that shit, but I don't think it's like a natural thing. I think it's a, it's uh, sort of like perpetrated by music and and Dude, media. Uh, Emotional abuse is fucking for real, though. Like I am, I'm actually, I am a, I I am a victim. Like too, yeah. I am a victim of that. I have. It's our whole fucking generation, man. Toxic what, relationship. Well, we grow. We grow up just looking at these like different, like you know, our pop culture is, you know, there's just this one special girl for us. We're gonna fall in love, and it's super romantic. And the whole time, a girl is just like, I'm gonna fuck his friend and fuck everyone else. Like girls don't really buy into it as much as dudes do. Because I who I've hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're like women yeah. are evil. He's had a couple of bad I, relationships. Yeah, that's not. I uh, probably. Uh, yeah, no. The no. last for some reason the last. You don't want to know. No. Um. Yeah, but like, uh, <laughs> it's just like. I don't think women all are gonna fuck your best friend. No, I, I love women. I mean, I grew up with women. Dude, okay, hold on. That has hap- That happens a lot. What I'm just saying is that women don't buy into that whole. Women don't seem as romantic as guys. Yeah, are. it's hypergamy. Yeah, women. What do you mean women don't seem as romantic as guys? I feel like it's the opposite. What? I'm super romantic. Dude, you're I doing love, a backflip. Look, here's the, this is the fucking shit. problem. This is the problem right here. <laughs> She's the kind of woman that a guy like you probably needs, but you guys aren't attracted to each other because you like toxic women, and she's... Well, I don't know you well enough to give an opinion on that, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just like toxic bitches, dude. That's your thing, man. Yeah, they have to look like my mom... Well, that's a whole other thing. That's like a, no, isn't no, that no, like no. a thing though? You're like no, it's to not true. It's not, your, it's not true because like it's not true. I've, that's, da- that's I've a, dated girls that are very nice. Isn't that an Oedipus complex? That's what you have then. Yeah, yeah, but it's like it's I don't know. Yeah, there's something hot about a girl. You're banging her. And she's like, I'm gonna ruin your fuck fucking dude. life. And you're like, fuck yeah. Dude, I just realized I forgot the fourth camera again. I'm not on camera again. I know. That's what I was like, dude. You're talking so I, much and you're not even on camera. God damn it. I've done that for the past like five episodes. We're sorry about the um, unprofessionalism of this, uh, this pod. But I don't give a fuck today. <laughs> but, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I, I don't want a toxic girl anymore. I want a girl that's nice and sweet. She's not nice and sweet. No. Oh. I want like a girl that's just like Ryan. Whatever you say Holly's goes. Nice. You can tell. I can tell what somebody's like based on the way they look, like in their eyes. See, that's where you go wrong. Are you a bad person? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I'm doing Ryan's podcast, so I'm gonna get canceled. But other than that, I don't think. Yeah, is that what happens to people that do this pod? Everyone's afraid to do my podcast. (laughs) I was like, dude, I'm so disconnected from all that shit because I just don't give a fuck at all. No, I people are pussies nowadays. People are so afraid. Like I was, some guy was saying, "Oh, I want to be on your dark comedy show," and I was like, "Okay." He was about to go up on stage. I was like, "Do some some of your shit," so I know. And he's like, "I don't can't do it here." It's just like the whole point of the dark comedy. Yeah. And who crushes the person that does the dark comedy and shit the, the, instead of the one he's like, but as long as I play by the rules, it doesn't matter if I don't crush, you know? I should but write dark jokes. I have so many, like, like when I was in high school, I was just, like, such a dark, like, teenager. I was, like, the typical, I see, this, like, I see something inside of you. I was just, like, I just have <laughs> journals full of just, like, life doesn't mean anything and what are we doing here? And I'm just, like, oh, all that shit. You're like a female just, school shooter. No, nice. I can't work a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, a woman did try to do it, and she couldn't even kill anyone, remember? Dude, women are just <laughs> horrible Christ. at everything. Sometimes I wonder if people uh, watch this and take take this, like, at face value and Dude. think that this is actually who we are. I'm one, probably no, going to get I, so many pity no, follows. No, one time I, 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 was doing this pod, <laughs> I was doing this pod. Like, and are so you gonna okay? Be a great <laughs> There's going to be so many DMs that are like, hey, just want to make sure you're safe. I was doing this pod, and this kid actually goes, Ryan has taught me a lot about women and... <laughs> Oh, and like fuck. how to you know really navigate Done. it was serious you know <laughs> pull but it, i am pull serious everything i say is serious because don't be don't make my mistakes oh okay well them, hold on don't make my mistakes i want to clarify something uh whenever i'm on a podcast this is like a character i'm not actually like this 
I'm like this. He's like that. No, I don't know. I don't know you. I just met you like 20 minutes ago. But I just got a lot of problems. I'm a complex character. Gary is like this. I'm like this. To, like, what is a persona? It's like a part of you that you blow up, you know? Yeah, that's what a lot Exaggerated of, a lot of, version of myself. Yes. A lot Very of com- A lot of comics don't do that enough. They they just play by the rules and stuff. Is and, that um, but anyways, um, back to like not coming... Um, it's not good to come, but it's so fun. Holly, how many times do you orgasm a week? A week? I don't know. Really depends on the week. You should do four. You do look like a big masturbator. What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, I mean, just someone that's just like totally cool with like not having a boyfriend. It means she's got like a big dildo. <laughs> one of those vibrating ones. She's got some fucking drilling. Equipment. I've got a bunch of sex toys in my in my nightstand downstairs. You can have them. No, I'm good. I, I don't want your used. Friend. Your used toxic women <laughs> sex toys. Whoa. Probably have whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hey, these are stripper approved. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a giant dildo? No. Good. I kind of got upset at a girl once because she had like a huge dildo. I was like, oh, that's what, that's what you're into? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you upset at her? How big? Because it was like this big. It was, I was like, like three feet long? It was like this. Did she stick it on the ground? And I was, I was like, so is that what you're into? She like comes out of her throat. I was like, <laughs> no, I know. So I, I, was, I was asking her, I was like, so what made you choose that, huh? She's like, oh, I, I just chose the one that I thought I was into. Oh, you were into that shit. <laughs> it was. Yeah, p- she's telling you that you're not good enough, Ryan. I know. You and your small fucking penis. I know. But you can make a mold of your dick. I bought one of those one time, and then uh, I broke up with the girl. Well, she broke up with me. Well, we weren't. <laughs> you bought like question. a custom. <laughs> you bought a you custom. Know about that? Yeah, I was gonna mold my cock into uh, a for my baby mama, and then um, you have a I kid? hated her. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. rewind. <laughs> yeah, he's a father. Can't you tell? I have a five year old in California. Is um, that your only kid? That I'm aware of. Nice. I don't think I have another one. You never know. This I, I did get a stripper pregnant when I was like nine, eighteen in high school, and she said, "Oh, we have getting an abortion." I, for I don't sure. know. Were you freaked out at eighteen years old? No, nah, nothing like, phases me like that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is such a mystery. Where you're are you from? Like, you're just like Dayton, Ohio. I'm a mystery. I'm an open book. You can ask me anything. Look at her. She's like, you're such a mystery. She's such a... I'm such... Look at, no. look at him, like, playing the game. <laughs> no. This is so cool to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how it's done. <laughs> yeah. If anybody ever mics. tells... You see her? Let's see how she's open, such a I mystery. said I should have done open mics. <laughs> hey, this is better for your career. With <laughs> my audience's young boys. Oh, God. No. Will, boys that all equally hate women. As no, they as love you. women. I love women. I grew up with two women, the three women, two sisters and a, and a mom. I, I, most of my friends are women, you know? I just hate, like... Same here, actually. Do you I just, not get along with other men? No, I do. Yeah, as well. I just, um, with, uh... No, he just hates his ex-girlfriend or whatever. I just, I just hate my exes. Yeah, and so it's better. It makes me feel good just to put that hatred on all women. You know, that's you, most healthy. You are friends with a lot of women. I am too. I don't hate women. I I just am bad at relationships. I love women. I think women are fucking awesome and great. But I do think you guys need to calm it down with thinking yeah. that you're just like, oh, I the future is female, and this is you know I am all that. Wait a minute. And Why I am need, I being lumped into this? Category? I don't need to be talking. Are you a feminist? No. Oh no, I actually like. Uh, I'm actually really bad at like maintaining friendships with like groups. Like I've never been that woman that has like, oh, we're going out with the girls. It's girls night. We're all going out to this bar. Like, so basically, you're not a slut. Is what I've never, yeah. We don't go that far. I've never had like a big <laughs> a group joke, of sorry. like, like I never, <laughs> I never survive in those big groups of women because I always get, I always get cut out. You're the one that gets raped. Um, exactly. <laughs> what? Like I'm always the one that like. <laughs> says something that somebody doesn't like or like does something where they're like yeah actually we're just gonna like make a separate group chat without her and like hope she doesn't notice like that so like, you get that boxed kind of out shit. of friend groups so you weren't like sometimes in a, you weren't in a sorority or anything i was yeah um, <laughs> oh yeah so you're I was a slut. In a sorority. Did, you, did you ever get day raped i was in like a weird sorority though it wasn't like a what'd you have to do to get into <laughs> it the, was a cult <laughs> what'd you have to do to get into the sorority uh i had to go down on a girl 
No, no, it was super. It was like not. I literally didn't have to do anything. This is a safe space. It feels very safe. I feel very safe here. You are safe. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Just pet the deer if you you (laughs) feel. I thought it was a wildebeest. No. All right. It's whatever Um, you want it to be. We didn't really have to do anything. We were just like yelled at and like told we were like didn't know how to do anything, and we were like, "Oh, you should have known this by now." I know that's fucking like. It's just like they just play like psycho. It's just like all psychological, but we didn't have to do it. I never had to do anything like crazy. Meanwhile, like across the street, the guys were eating pizzas with cum on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There Circle was jerk a, time. There was a uh, there was Jesus. a frat at my school that got busted for um, putting hot sauce. They put guys in cages and then dripped hot sauce on their ball sack every time they got a question wrong. <laughs> What? And then there was a video of them. They had to like chug milk and like puke on each other's backs as like some sort of like unity. Dude, you know what? Just some sort of bonding That's event. That's kind of funny though. <laughs> That's funny, but That's also disgusting. very uh, yeah, gross and homoerotic. Yeah, it I is. think a lot of those frat guys fuck each other. I well, think they're gay. It's and you know why I know that? I know a rich gay guy that fucks a lot of frat boys. Well, I was telling the story to someone about, like... Uh, I don't feel like that's a new... I don't feel like that you're, like, discovering that. Like, you're the first person to think of that. Yeah. I doubt it. I think I'm probably not the first person to think of that. I wrote a story, <laughs> an erotica story, called uh, The Bro Job. And it was about, like, two two frat Dude, boys. are you gay? No, I wish I was. But it was about, like, two two frat boys. And, and they, like, they're just hanging out, right? And they're just like, hey... <laughs> You know, like when you jerk off, it's like you're touching a dick. This is what happens when you're right? trying not but to like, come. But like, so for if six I like, weeks. so basically, I'm touching a dick, but it doesn't make me gay. So if I touch your dick, <laughs> does make me gay. And they're like, really? Like, yeah, <laughs> Chad. And then <laughs> they start fucking. That's recitaled my inner and, thoughts. And then they start jerking each other off. They're like, it's not gay. <laughs> and then they're like blowing each other, and they're like, I would blow myself if I could. And then they're fucking each other, and then they have to act like nothing ever happened while they're watching like football. Do you, you know, write a lot of erotica? I used to. <laughs> Do you write, like, I feel like you write, like, violent erotica. Like, it gets violent I, at the end. Well, yeah, some of my female friends are like, Ryan, <laughs> some of my female friends are like, Ryan, this is not how it happens. <laughs> They'd be like, no, it's supposed to be like, he brushed against me, and he went to the other oh, side. Oh, you write of it from r- the girl's perspective? Some of them. Can I please read one of these? Yeah, I, I can. I can Bust look, it out. I can look up for, for a clip. But, like. It so, but like I never got it. Where well, one of them, it was a Christian erotica. <laughs> it was about a girl. It was well, a Christian erotica. We I, held I, inve- I invented the, the. I invented the genre. Yeah. Oh, like she's like not supposed to. No, no, no. She like just got sing. married, and she, you know, she, they're flying to Hawaii. And she's really excited about losing her virginity. Why am I familiar with this for some reason? You probably read it, <laughs> and it. But like, it is very beautiful. It's like Daniel Steele. Do you sell it? I feel like you probably like yeah. Know I still how make to money off it. I feel like a lot of comics that write comedy like know how to write other things. Well, Ryan's pretty <clears throat> creative. Yeah, Holly. Um, when it comes to uh, writing erotica, s- yeah. When it comes to <laughs> storytelling from the, the the female perspective, yeah. I understand how women think and feel. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> The story is just like I was staring in the mirror, realizing I was depreciating in value. Yeah, I only had well, so much I mean, time left. You know, like the whole biological clock thing, right? Do you? Do you? I mean, I get it. What age do you think women peak at? Serious question. I don't know. And I'm not talking like sexually or looks wise. I just mean in general. Because then it, what it, else would they peak at? Basketball? <laughs> what are these? What do you um, mean? not sexually or look wise. This is different because some older women are very beautiful and hot. And yeah, stuff. but they're they still peaked because it's not all about looks, dude. Like at yeah. a certain point in time, when a woman's been run through by like fucking a hundred <laughs> dudes, it's disgusting. <laughs> Jesus That's yeah. a large part of it. Men care about a woman's past, and a woman cares about a man's future. True. You know. And the past. Women care about both. Men only really No, dude. Past. Like, if you told a girl, like, yeah, I fucked about, like, 50 girls, uh, and they'd be like, oh, that's cool, whatever, but where are you, what, what job do you have, you know? That's all they care about, man. I yeah. should care more about jobs. I need to get better <laughs> at that. <laughs> My, uh. um, so these are, like, the auditions, Would right? you ever date a porn star? No. <clears throat> I dated a porn addict. I think that's close enough. <laughs> really? Yeah. What was that like? Nothing really happened. <laughs> I don't know. They just watched porn while I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> did they still want to fuck you all the time or what? Yeah. But did their dick get limp a lot? 
Because we, we have a solution for that later we can talk about. Yeah, we need to talk about <laughs> solutions to limp cocks. Is it the uh, okay. is it the same solution everything's been roped back to so far? No, no, no. <laughs> yes. And this one pill will save your life. One little blue pill. Doctors Chew, hate pill. this guy. I'm trying to guy. play my Doctors ACX. Hate. Women hate this guy. <laughs> Why isn't it working? I was referencing Ryan, by the way. Well, it's gonna it's got a kick kick up. I I dish I auditioned a bunch of women to to read for my books and stuff. Oh God! But yeah, I, um, but my main the best selling books were gay gay ones, the gay ones like uh, sucking Mr. Spencer. <laughs> that was my my opus. Where and do you and women where, bought is them? Like right? a, women is it buy like a that website shit. that like you can sell erotica on Amazon. Real just just Amazon. Yeah, you go on fucking Kindle Direct. Uh, Kindle Direct uh, page or what is it called? Whatever it's called, KDP, and and you produce your own. You can produce your own stories and stuff like that. Oh, what you can just like self publish it? Yeah, and you can like order like a hard hard um, cover. I don't know why this isn't working. That's all right. I changed my mind. I don't want to read it. But now I want you to. Oh wait, here we go. Because it's so. I just want to see. I just like the idea of your, you thinking you know exactly how women think. I just think that's really funny. We had a wonderful dinner on the beach, watching amidst candles and torches. The live music was phenomenal, and so were the dancers. It was all so much, and we enjoyed ourselves immensely. <laughs> Back at the room, I must have left Evan waiting in bed for like thirty minutes while I quote put on something more comfortable. <laughs> Wait, she's changing for 30 minutes? <laughs> this is her special Have night. you ever had sex this with a woman? They always take for <laughs> fucking ever in the bathroom. Yeah, that's because she's I texting her friend going, I don't know, do you think maybe I shouldn't fuck In the me? mirror, making sure my hair and my laundry was perfect. I was so nervous. <laughs> Finally, I gave myself a wink and walked out <laughs> of the bathroom, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. covering Stop. my skin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I looked at the man Stop. I was about to give myself to. <laughs> this woman... Winked at herself in the mirror. <laughs> That's what women do. You know what I mean, you have to talk. You have to write like that. That's why they're in there for so long. They're just. <laughs> yeah. No, you have to like. I know how to write. Like a woman needs me to write, but I, I like a lot of my stuff did get kind of dirty and stuff. How many female fans do you have for these books? <laughs> Probably not. I don't have any many female fans for anything. <laughs> but <laughs> only cool females are into like my comedy. If a girl likes my comedy, then I know that she's cool. Then you know that she was probably abused as a child. And that's what I'm looking in for. In a lot of pain. Yeah, that's when I know what we're gonna cl we're gonna click. I mean, the weird thing is that sometimes, like, the people that laugh the hardest at darkest jokes are the people that have like been through similar situations. Always, well, I think it's always those kind of people. Well, Not always. But I think. Like I think. Uh, not all, not everyone copes that way, but there are a lot of people that like they write really dark shit because that's their way of. Well, he was molested. Through it, it was by a th uh, twenty-three year old in a barn. No, a twenty. That was almost. Uh, I was actually molested that by. Guy a was just a tease. I was actually <laughs> molested by a twenty-three-year-old woman when I was thirteen. Ooh, she was like a babysitter. Me. She kissed me. And I was I was really happy about it, but you know what? Now I realize I was molested. Yeah, but dude, you were almost molested by that camp counselor. Yeah, and I'm I don't know if I actually was that the barn one. Yeah, yeah. I ran away, but I'm not. Barn. I always wonder if I ran away. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> you just got a shudder. Part no, of me, I part remember of me running away. I just don't know if it was <laughs> before or after. Have you ever gone to like therapy? Many times. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish I was so like I would know what's wrong with me. Dude, dude, I've been thinking a lot lately about wouldn't going to a therapist. Wouldn't that be awesome to find out you were molested? You're like, oh, that's what's wrong. And then wrong. have a fucking excuse for my yeah. behavior forever, dude. Yeah, well, I was no, molested, no okay? Well, I, I was fucked in the ass as a little boy, okay? <laughs> I was fucked in the ass as a little boy. Of course, I, I'm not responsible. You can say that to everything. I thought you said nothing happened. In no, the I'm saying that would be cool if that was happening. Well, you know what would really I don't suck think it would is be if cool. <laughs> if you went to a like psychiatrist or psychotherapist and they were like, "Yeah, dude, you just have a chemical imbalance. You're just a fucking psycho." Well, I you know why that would suck because that's what I was told when I was a kid. No, I do have a chemical imbalance. I have to take like antidepressants because. Yeah, but you were also like abused though, right? By yeah, by somebody. Yeah, no, I I was like pretty abused when I was a kid. I like like uh, physically. Yeah, my mom had a bunch of boyfriends and shit. 
and um, they would beat the shit out of me. They'd call me like fags. I had longer hair, and I'd be like, "You're the faggot," and I would get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's wild! And my mom would be doing drugs, and I'd be pulling her out of the bathtub when she was like, I was like a little kid and stuff. So like, that's probably how I cope, I guess. Or I just find like dark shit really funny when someone says, "Hey, my mom just died." I laugh at them. That sounds healthy. But it's like no, I get it though. Like you turn, you're turning your yeah, you're the most painful moments of your life into like art funny well jokes. but but not even in my life i don't talk about my life i just talk about i find humor and but i think everyone like we there's so much darkness in the world we right now a little boy is getting raped as you speak as as and you don't care right but you know it right what little boy in a barn care? is actually getting raped by wilson <laughs> <laughs> somewhere I mean, no, that's accurate. There's some. It might, might not even be a little boy. Just there's a there's a child being raped somewhere. Probably there's right a now. woman being raped. There are people being. There's set, somebody being. There's raped. being people set on fire. There's all this horrible shit, and we know that in the back of our heads, right? And we cry about it, and we know that racism exists and all this shit, and but like, so comedy is just this one time to laugh at it instead of being crying about it. This one, you know, the whole time. Yeah. So I'm there basically to help and bring joy and light to people. I mean, I've seen you kill, like, many times. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was gonna... Oh, yeah. Has there ever been a time where, like, somebody said, like, hey, this joke, like, really hurt me and, like, actually... Like, for You're a, actually asking for him a this? second made you be like, oh, I feel bad. Like, have you ever felt bad about anything? Like, has anybody no. ever come up to you after a show and, like, told you a story? But, like, no, no, I feel no bad one's about. ever come up to me and tried to explain to me. Why. Well, some people have, like, tried to explain to me why it might be wrong, and I just go into a conversation. But I've had women cry in the bathroom. I've had uh, a woman come up and thro throw water in my face or try to, but I dodged. Do you feel like, um, do you feel like the I've people. Had two guys waiting for me outside of a comedy club. <laughs> Do you feel like... I feel like this is a therapy session in itself. The most know. people who... <laughs> like, the people who get mo the most upset are people who have been through those experiences or people who, like, just, like, are, uh, like, offended people, for other people. I think, yeah, I think people are offended for other people. And people don't have much meaning in their life, right? Nowadays, a lot of people don't. They don't believe in religion or God. They don't believe in... Um, they don't have goals or whatever. Someone comes around and says, hey... Here's a class on whiteness that you should fight for and like give it to everyone. And if people don't know how bad they are about being white, then that is sacrilege and they believe in it. You know, here, Black Lives Matter, let's throw rocks in this window. And that is, that's why these people, they believe in it. It's their personality, it is their religion. You know what I mean? And people want to be offended. They want, um, they don't want to be, but they are because we're, yeah, you're offending, you're, you're drawing Muhammad and you're doing that shit to, you know, and they're right. Muslims. So it's like, but I don't care because what I'm fighting for is as a comic is to be the, the, the one time we are supposed to say whatever we want to say. That's the reason I do this. If I can't say what I want to say, then there's no point in doing this. <clears throat> you don't do it to make people like feel good? No. Is that I, part of it No, too? I w don't want people to get offended. I don't. I want people to like laugh at the horrible shit. That is my goal. But I'm not going to feel bad about it if they get offended because... That if anything, it affected them. Either way, it affected them one way or another. The worst is when they're not paying attention and they're just whatever. That's bad. But if they're just staring at you, that's fine too. You know, as long as like yeah. they're affected by it. I don't like uh, making people feel bad though, but I just think it kind of comes with the territory. I really don't. Like I, I fucked up before. Like I was doing really well in a room in LA and there was one girl that was just had a sour face and her boyfriend's laughing his ass off, right? And I, yeah, and she's just like, everyone was having a good time. And I just zeroed in on her because I couldn't stand that she wasn't having a good time. And it, and it wasn't good because it kind of threw it off a little bit instead of just ignoring her. And then she like runs out of the comedy club when I start, like I, I, I roasted her. I was like, I don't write, I was like, I don't write rape jokes. There's nothing funny about a woman wearing the wrong dress. <laughs> and she gets up and she runs out. And her boyfriend's like, fuck her, I'm laughing, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. you you ended a relationship that night. Yeah, <laughs> well, that might, he might have actually done her a favor if that dude's that much of a fucking... And it was funny, though, because when I was coming into the club, there was this huge black guy, like, you've been vaccinated, whatever, because, like, it was L.A., and then when I was leaving, he's like, hey, good job making that little black girl run out of the club. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know? funny. We were cool then. Yeah. So yeah. I was fighting yeah. for him. I was fighting for slavery, anti-slavery. 
not fighting for slavery. I get it now. I get it. So you do you do jokes to fight racism? I just do jokes, man, that are funny. They're they're not they're not real stories, you know. They there's symbolism in it. Like uh, my neighbors got a Black Lives Matter sign, uh, and I love it because I always forget. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, what does it, that mean? It's it's so ridiculous to have to have a fucking sign to to do that. Hey, that. just remind you some. Hey, Black we're not Lives racist. Matter. Yeah, <laughs> just to remind you, Black Lives Matter. It's so ridiculous that in they, case you forgot to, that yeah. every per human being is it matters, you know. And I'm playing the racist. I'm playing the person that's stupid. And black people usually love the black jokes. Like you know, I I I feature David Lucas a lot, and he's always telling me, he's like, "Say that shit, man. Say that shit." Because like, well, yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. No, he's awesome, dude. Did you see his like, like recently something went viral? Um, this roast that he was had. he heckling or somebody heckling him? He was roasting these two people. Oh my god, I almost want you to play it if you can. But it's like, um, can you do that? It's not my podcast. I don't care. It went fun. viral, and it's uh, and then there was a big brawl that happened afterwards. What? Yeah, it was. He was opening or featuring for Brendan Schaub, and he, and like these, it was uh, at McGooby's. Where is that? Ohio? I don't or, know. I think it's at Arkansas. But he just starts uh, going off on these two. This woman wouldn't stop talking to him because he started saying like, "L.A. is better than." Uh, uh, wherever the fuck they were, and she was like arguing with him, and and he's like, "Man, look at y'all! I bet you have those sandals on right now." And look at your, like I can't, but he um he went really dark at Caroline's in New York, dude. Like I told him to go dark. I told everyone to go dark. He kind of went really bad. Like that's crazy that you're saying that. You're like, "Well, man, that's a little over the line." Yeah, like <laughs> I know it was like it was like, and like there were some women in the audience that were like. And he's talking about like putting his foot on a woman's neck and stuff. Like oh, gee. he oh, just God. went <laughs> off the the top, you know. But I love David. Like he's well, you like said go dark. So I guess I don't know. <laughs> like if I'm banned from a place and I'm with David, he's like, man, are you with me? Fuck them, shit. Like he's uh, he's like I've never met anyone like David Lucas, you know. Yeah, he's, he's he like was a, he's a Trump supporter. He's black like, dude, but he's, he's like, like Southern black. But he knows. Nir he, I was. I drove with him to Houston, and he's like knows all the Nirvana songs. Yeah. And shit. No, I know. I, he's an interesting guy. Yeah. He's also just a fun dude to hang out with. Well, I, no, when you hang out with him, it's just like different girl calls and calls another girl. I know. I know. Like, what's up, baby? What's up, girl? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, what's all I talk about. What's up? All right, I gotta go. What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're running over, and I'm just like, David, talk to me. That's hilarious. Yeah, we went. We drove to Houston, and then we got there, and um. We we're gonna do a show that night, and there was the Airbnb he got. We go there it was like this, like little mother-in-law to the side of the house. This little structure, and the door was like wide open and stuff. And David's oh, that's like, "So creepy." Yeah, we were like, "Fuck this!" And we go in there, and there was this little uh, uh, guest book. You know, people sign, and one of them was like, "We love staying here. It's the perfect <clears throat> brother and sister getaway." What, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Ew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Like yeah, that. it was just weird, and and um, fucking very weird. Yeah, and then Dave couldn't get his money back. I was like, Dave, let me talk. I'm white. I'll get the money back. <laughs> Why was the door open? You guys never figured it out. No, he was like, man, it's haunted in here. What did we do? Oh, we ended up getting a hotel. Yeah, like this other guy that bought us like hotels or something. Oh, that's so creepy. Ew, <laughs> brother, sister, get away. Yeah, uh, right. No one. I was <laughs> like, I told everyone this shit, and they don't realize how fucking crazy that is and they laugh but they're like isn't that brother and sister getaway <laughs> i got another i got a lot of shutters on this podcast you have a so brother far. yes right you have a brother i do have a brother yeah do you ever feel out attracted to him before no no like sometimes like you're just like i would i would give him a head no no stop <laughs> how old is he <laughs> stop no. he's 27 27 <laughs> yeah hey who was that one guy we had on here who he like this guy couldn't hang Cause like you know he obviously <laughs> likes to make his guests feel Travis part Travis Matters he told me just don't say my name like put my name up there he was he's just very like oh god oh god yeah he was he was he's like good, he's on the good. borderline of freaking out he's I mean that's why I listened to an episode before I was like I want to know what I'm which one did you listen to? to oh the Dulce one oh yeah Dulce was 
pretty good sport. She was except, a good fit. Except she didn't want to get into the whole elephant elephant poop. Oh, thing. that was hilarious. I was cry. I was like laughing so hard in my car that about was the, funny. the. I was, the, what was the website. I was kind of drunk when we recorded. So what that. happened? Like bogus? Like got the box of elephant? Uh, dude, poop? I don't fucking even know. Oh, is that who got it? Yeah. <laughs> didn't she say not to say who it was? Yeah, it was bogus. I <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think it's elephant poo. I think it's just some dude. You know, <laughs> shitting out of Bianca. Life. Bianca was a good guest too. Oh yeah, she, she was. A, she's she, a fun podcast. She was on our podcast. She's just on, a good person. I had a podcast. <laughs> well, Bianca, yep. like you know, and I will address this publicly. I saw <laughs> that said. she um, was told like she wasn't going to book me anymore from the women that got me banned. She was like, I saw a text being like, I talked to Bianca and don't worry, she's not going to book him anymore. So I don't know about, I, about like, I like Bianca when we hang out, but I don't trust her now because of that. And it really broke my heart. I like, I like grabbed her and I like kissed her cheek. And I was like, you broke my heart. Dude, you need to, look, you need to wake up every day and listen to Big Pimpin' by Jay-Z. Why? It's going to teach you you don't need women. I already am Big Pimpin', dude. Yeah, you're saying. The women nice reminder. Me. There's so much just like anger at women in this room. <laughs> There's not, but we. I love we, women. But we love women and we, we are really always. just trying to live we, our lives. It's not like we're incels <laughs> that don't, can't get women, you know? And that's why you come to us because we hate you. I don't. That's not how it works. Yeah, because you're just like, maybe you won't hate me. Yeah, that is a <laughs> weird thing that most women do. I don't think, you don't understand what we're saying because I think you're actually like a normal, decent woman. No, she's a woman. She doesn't understand. I'll take it. <laughs> no, you're a woman that does, women don't understand what they want. Because I'm too busy Accurate. winking in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Straightening my laundry. You say you, you, like what what you say. I gave myself a wink. What you say and what you do is two totally opposite things. Like what kind of guy would you like? What? What kind of guy would you like? Uh, in your next I mean, relationship. I like a guy that does like cool things that I'm like, oh, that's like something I want to learn how to do. Does like, cool things. Okay. They They're attractive. They're fit. They like to like stay active they're interesting to talk to they can hold a conversation they're funny but what if he was all those things but he had literally no money and mooched off of you oh mooched off See, of that's, me that's what it every is time. No what money, every time no money no money been there done that but mo- mooched off of me is like ooh, no <laughs> but she would do it because i also have no money that. so where would he be getting money from? well you know what i mean i don't know i just think that um, i think if they if there was a guy that um, was just a total piece of shit and lazy as fuck. But if he fucked you right and you and you and he gave you an orgasm, you'd probably still bang him. My little sister used to tell yeah, me all the time. Him, though. My little sister used to say all the time. Fair, fair. Women like a challenge, right? Once you know a guy's totally in love with you, it's not hot anymore. Yeah, but guys are like that right? too, though. Uh, no, I, I like mean- when a girl's in love with me. No, I mean, <laughs> I like when a girl's in love with me. I like love it. me. I like it a <laughs> lot. Just starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I would yeah. really like that. A word well, from our sponsors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, hey, you're welcome. You want to do the I'm running this ad. podcast now. No. This is my podcast. Ad. Where's my phone? Uh, we'll we'll keep talking phone. about this. Um, by the way, have you ever had a limp penis situation? Have I? Yeah. What do you mean? Describe. Have you ever uh, had a had a guy not be able to get his dick hard for yeah. you? Yeah. Why? Many times. Because it's you, or just because? Um. <laughs> because he was usually nervous? drug related. Oh, or a drug addict. Nerves. 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 <laughs> Depending. <laughs> it happens. Very different types of men. <laughs> Drugs. Yeah. And nerves. Like he's just nervous. He's like, oh my god, I get to bang Holly Johnston. <laughs> Johnston. Johnston. Yeah. Don't forget the T. It's yeah. annoying. Yeah, you say it right. right. Johnston. Respect our guest, please. No, that's happened to me before where I was really like, like, I didn't expect, I didn't think I would be like sleeping with this woman who I really liked and it just started happening and I was like, and I was all ready to go and then it just like. Oh, you got nervous. I started thinking, what if I'm not like, you know, what if I don't meet up, meet her standards? She yeah, was think, about to give herself away to you. And well, you no, totally I still got it. You fucking I, no, blew it. No, I didn't. I still got it up. I just said, hey, but you had to like no, wait like half hours. I just no. I, I was like, hey, I'd rather just like take her time and. I mean, I never know, take some, it personal. I was like, let's do some foreplay or something because I was just waiting for my dick to get. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That's you got to do that sometimes. I've been nervous once or twice before where I couldn't get my dick hard right away. I've had whiskey dick a lot though, 
By the way, I quit drinking whiskey completely, and um, I stopped uh, getting blackout drunk. Oh, but crazy. I still drink vodka, and I, but I don't get like super fucked up. Vodka is weird. Whiskey just is like my Achilles heel, I think, and strippers. All right, guys. So say <laughs> it's it's time to like, change your lives, and next time you're going to be with a woman like Holly Johnston, who's just being, you know, I all don't want s- any of your fans to. It's all, you know, <laughs> a woman that kidding. looks like her, and you just really are excited and stuff, and you're like, oh my god, and you, it's time to stop this shit. It's time to have some pills in your pocket that you can pop, and you can arise for that occasion because what is it summer summer is here it's it's got to be hot you don't want to cool it down with a limp tick (laughs) (laughs) and that's right (laughs) yeah this episode is sponsored by blue chew guys confidence can take you far in life it can also help in the bedroom especially when it comes time to step up to the plate and swing that's where blue chew comes in Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers in the, the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets, and they taste really good. I just, I love it. And at a fraction of the cost. No, I get them sent to me, like, just, like, samples, because I uh, this is a pocket, and I, I'll just use them for fun. Am I allowed to talk during this part? Not yet, not yet. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. BlueChew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Um, What were you going to say? Uh, nothing. That's pretty cool. You're sponsored by BlueChew. Yeah, I know. Congrats. Yeah, I know. Big, we we eat this stuff food. before we do the podcast. Does it really taste good? Yeah. Let me have no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it does. What do you think would happen if I ate one? Would I just your, get like your, really your, aggressive? I think, your, I think your clit would probably like swallow, get swollen up or something. Wow. And you'd have like a small little dick like that guy that I talked about. <laughs> that sounds painful. I don't want swollen clit. Yeah, it actually works. Where it's like it's really cool as you take it because it's like um, you don't get hard just because you took it you have to be aroused right? oh that's interesting and then it's just it basically it's like a dilator it opens up the wait b- blue chews yeah blue chew tablets they uh, tablets let's make sure you say they, they they don't get your dick hard immediately for gary Dude, when i gary, take those things i have a boner for like nine hours because you're always aroused but like <laughs> and it's kind of it's kind of hot you know you're with a guy and he's like hey Let's do this. And he just starts chewing this shit in front of you. And then he's like. Is it hot? <laughs> Is that hot? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> like slow motion. Like slow what? motion. Like slow motion. Like slow motion. Just being like. <laughs> he's so confident that he knows exactly what women are thinking. <laughs> yeah. So far. Confidence. You know, be like, hey, I'm going to take a blue chew tablet. And I mean, I your world's going to change. I wouldn't be like against it. Sometimes it can hurt the woman, though. But like the, the act the of woman, him chewing the, it. It can hurt the woman because you're <laughs> so hard. It's like the oh. woman's like, stop, stop. Dude, and you're like, yeah, that's right. Whatever you do, though, Holly, when you take a Blue Chew tablet, make sure that you don't mix it with a bunch of Cialis because I did that a couple months ago. You guys, back. Don't, you don't need Cialis. You have Blue Chews because if you can benefit from this boner pill Are when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can add, <laughs> can help. And we've got a special deal for our <laughs> listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Joseph at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code Joseph to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com. B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Guys, please go and get that. Go there and do it because it, it helps me um, get this podcast. Keep going if they're... Um, if you guys get your dicks hard. With yeah, YouTube, but don't take it with Cialis, though, because if you do that, your veins will hurt because you'll have too much blood She doesn't flow. have a dick. <laughs> I'm just telling you. We never know. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> Would you ever invert your vagina into a penis? No. So you hate trans people? <laughs> That's what that means, I guess. <laughs> what do you think of trans people? What? What do you think of trans people? I don't have anything against trans people. I'm not saying against them. What do you? What do you think? What do you? Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the AC. What do you think? What do you think of Ryan's presence? What do you think of? What do you think of trans people? Um, I don't know. I have friends that are trans. Really? Are they happy? 
I mean, I don't have like good friends. I can't like speak for the for the the ones I've known that I've actually gone all the way and gotten it cut off. They get they get they get regretful because like guys like want a girl that has the guys that are into it want the girl to have the dick still, and because and then once they find out because it's like if you had you know regular vagina and everything you look like a woman you are a woman but like you really are a man it's like that's not hot unless you have the cock that's what guys want not me but like you know that's what the the guys say but like a lot of people i know that have been trans that have been trans that are trans they aren't that happy usually because if you think about it it's the ultimate form of self-denial i really don't think about it very often <laughs> right being transsexual that's the ultimate form of self-denial to say i i don't like me who i am i'm not supposed to be this way you know i don't know what you're saying <laughs> it is it's just like saying i don't i'm not i'm supposed to be a boy or i'm supposed to be a girl like instead of just being like i'm me yeah but we all deny ourselves in certain ways yeah, but it's like the ultimate White form. people hate themselves. Gay people don't want their parents to know. You know, it's a whole thing. I hate my big cock. <laughs> I hate it. I, I can't penis. even wear shorts. It's Texas. I have a barely above average penis, so I don't know how that feels. Yeah. I'm jealous. Where are we at in time? I'm curious why you get so many... Win- oh, strippers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's smart. She gets it. Yeah. Um. I mean, we're, I we're at an so hour proud. ten. Oh, okay. Well, right. we got to wrap it up. I know. I just turned the AC on. Oh, uh, and now you, you guys want to go. So you right. have anything you want to plug on the on the show? Um, yeah, I'll plug my YouTube channel. It's just my name, Holly Johnston. <laughs> uh, my Instagram. Why is that funny? Well, you just <laughs> have there's like so many no Holly, There's so many Holly Johnstons. That's my all. Oh, that's just the way I express. How do they find you? There's so many Holly Johnstons. There's really not that many. Wait, but yeah, I, that's why I laughed though. It was funny. Your persona is funny. <laughs> I know. It's just so dry. She's funny. Yeah. No, I know. I've, I've, I saw you on Secret Show, I think. That was the I'm first thinking about time. Um, offering you You a did spot. Secret Show, right? Uh, a long time ago, yeah. They didn't ask you to come back? Does Red no, Band say, hey, are you going to fuck me now? I haven't been back in like a year. <laughs> I feel like that's why Red Band asks people no, to come on. No. Instagram Red awesome. at holly.johnston <laughs> underscore. Holly.johnston underscore what? Yeah, that's it. Okay. AIM, I love horses. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and are you any shows coming up? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to be at um, Plano House of Comedy on August. When does this come out? This, uh, whenever I put it up. Okay. I gotta edit it. It's, it's just gonna come out like it, next is, November. It, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's gonna come out. <laughs> like, oh, I forgot. When is the show? Re- uh, August 16th, I'll be at Plano House of Comedy. August 17th, I'll be at Addison Improv. Um, What shows are you doing at Addison? Uh, just doing a guest spot on a Anne Friends show. Okay. What about Plano? Who shows up? Uh, it's the... Um, why am I forgetting? The name of the show. It's, uh, I forgot the name of it. That's right. Wow. Stop. That's a real professional here, right? Don't do Gen- that. G- ladies and gentlemen. No, it's Plano House of Comedy. <laughs> August the 16th. August but 16th. The Tuesday night one. Okay. It's Triple Threat Tuesday. There it is. Sorry. It's late at okay. night and I'm in a very sweaty room. All right. And everyone, uh, if you're near Fort Worth, buy tickets for my dark comedy show at Hyenas Fort Worth. We have to sell it out 8 p.m. so we can get another uh, s- show that night at 10 p.m. Is it in the Red Room? It is in the Red Room. Nice. And, um, yeah, and everybody write letters to the Creek and the Vulcan. No. To tell them. <laughs> Don't do that. Without Ryan, you're nothing. That'd be nice if you could do that. And No, who cares about those? Buddies? But I'm saying, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh...